Are you still editing like a beginner? Let's change it. In this video, I'll share 13 CapCut tips and tricks that will transform your edits from basic to pro level. Ready to elevate your editing skills? Let's dive in. Tip number one, text mask effect. Now, this is a new feature in CapCut. If you go to mask and add a mask. Before we had to do that by creating a text with green screen background. But with this feature, it's really easy. Just click on the text icon, change the text and font, and there is the video inside your text. But we can make it even better. Go to this position, scroll down to mask settings and click keyframe. Go forward 30 frames and zoom it to let's say 5000%. But we still have some black space, so let's make it even bigger, let's say 8000%. If we check now, we have this cool animation. Tip number 2. Glow Sweep Animation. Alright, I've got this Lamborghini logo here. First, let's duplicate it. Go to Adjust, drag Saturation all the way down. Crank the highlights all the way up, then open curves and pull the luma bar almost all the way left. That gives us a light version of the logo. Now go to basic, then video and create a compound clip of that light version. Add a film strip mask, make it smaller, set the feather to 30 and rotate the mask about 6 degrees. Move your playhead here. Drag your mask to the left, click keyframe under mask settings, then move forward about 25 frames and drag the mask to the right. And now we've got a smooth glow sweep across the logo. Tip number 3. Copy attributes. This one's a serious time saver. Here I've got a sun graphic that I want to move across the screen. Let's scale it down to 20%. Position it in the bottom left and start animate. Keyframe the transform. Go to 2 second mark. Move it to the center and scale it up. Then at 4 seconds, move it to the right and scale it back down. Right click, show variable speed animation. Click on Y axis, highlight the middle keyframe and hit audio curve. Stretch both sides of the curve a bit. Now instead of redoing all that for the moon, just right click the sun layer, copy attributes, then right click the moon and paste attributes. Keep everything checked so it copies position, size and everything. Now when we play it, the moon follows the same exact motion. Tip number 4. Quick animation curves. I've got this automator icon here. Let's animate it. Shrink it to about 25%. Drag it left and keyframe the transform. Jump to 4 seconds, drag it to the right and scale it up. We've changed both X position and scale. Now to make the movement smoother, the old way would be right click, show variable speed animation and set the curves for X and scale axis. But with a new option, we can just right click on the keyframe, choose show all presets and choose a preset you like. This way it will affect both keyframes on X axis and scale size. This way will save you a lot of editing time. Let's play it one more time. Nice smooth transition. Before we continue, I just want to let you know that I've created a complete CapCut masterclass 
where I guide you step by step from rookie to a pro editor. If you are ready to level up your editing skills, just click the link below and I'll see you in the inside. Tip number 5. Morph animation. Did you know that Lamborghini started out making tractors before sports cars? Let's morph a tractor into a Ventador. Shrink the tractor, move it left, move few frames forward and keyframe its position. 35 frames forward and move it right. Now move to the beginning and drag the Lambo down. We could also copy attributes now, but we have to make a car a bit smaller than the tractor. Drag it above the tractor. Move playhead to the first keyframe and click keyframe on position. Then move to the second keyframe. Move the car to the right side and click keyframe on position again. We have this animation now. But let's make it even smoother by pressing right click, show all presets and cubic ease. Do the same for the tractor. Now we have the same movement for both. Now move them to the middle. As we want to see only tractor first on the left side, we need to delete the car on this side. But if we do that, we will lose all keyframes. You see? That is why we need to make a compound clip first. And now we can delete the first part of the car without losing keyframes. We need to compound tractor too. But here we need to delete the right part. Now make a compound clip from both and we will make this really smooth. Scroll down. Click on motion blur, set the blur on 40, blend on 75 and now we get smooth morph transition. Tip number 6. Color isolation. Sometimes we just need to pump up only one color and this one is really easy. In my case here I want to pump up the red color on those strawberries. Head up to adjust. HSL and like I said we will pump up the red color so drag the saturation all the way up and for all other colors drag it all the way down and at the end only wanted color will shine out tip number seven text light animation I have a galaxy here for my background, so go up to text, add text, write your own and change the font if you want. Extend it. Then scroll down, click on glow, set the intensity and range. Then click keyframe on X offset and drag it all the way to the left side. Move your playhead almost to the end of the text and drag the X offset to the right. We have this nice animation. But we can make it even better. Go up to animation and in InTap choose typewriter. Set it to 1.5 seconds and for out type 1 animation and set it to 1 second. Tip number 8. Beat match cut. Here's some music from Epidemic Sound, but you can use anything from CapCut's audio tab. Now if you click on the marker here, you will see beat 1 and beat 2. Beat 1 are for major beats and beat 2 is for sub beats. We will just go for beat 1 here. Now the old style of editing would be dragging down one by one and adjusting to the beat manually. But now we can highlight all the photos, drag them down 
but make sure you drop them on a music track, that way it will automatically cut all the pictures exactly to the beat. Tip number 9. Object Glow I have two dots here which are moving in opposite directions. So to make them glow, you just have to go up to Effects and under Video Effects search for Glow Effect. You have different style of glow here, but we will choose Glow 3 effect. Extend it to the end. Set the glow to your likings and here you have a nice object glow effect. Tip number 10. Progress bar. I will show you quick and easy progress bar. Go up to text and add a text. Write underscore to get a line like this one. Then move your player to the 10 second mark because we will create a 10 second progress bar and extend it to the playhead. Move the line down, scroll down and uncheck uniform scale because we will make it a bit thicker. Then scroll down more, click on glow, choose the second option and set the intensity to 25 and range to 80. Right click on the text and create a compound clip. Go up to video, on mask, add mask, choose split and rotate it to minus 90 degrees. Move the mask to the beginning of the line and click keyframe on position. Then move the playhead to the end and drag the mask to the right so we reveal the line and keyframe will be created automatically. If we play it, we have a nice animated progress bar. Tip number 11, countdown. For this, we will first go to ChatGPT and write create a downloadable SRT file for countdown from 10 to 1 and hit enter. When it's done, just download the file to your computer. Then in CapCut, go to text Local Captions, click Import File and import the SRT file. Drag it to the timeline and you will see that we have a countdown from 10 to 1 exactly in 10 seconds. You can then resize the numbers and change the font. And when we play it, we have a cool 10 second countdown animation. Tip number 12, text expand. This is a cool effect that will level up your videos. Go up, add the text and write your own. You can then change the font and increase it if you need to. Extend it to the end and duplicate it. Turn off the upper text for now and change the color to green on the lower one. Scroll down, click on stroke change the color to white and decrease the thickness to let's say 11. Make a compound clip, go up to video, remove BG, chroma key and click with the color picker on the green color inside the text. Turn the upper text back on and change the color to black. Make a compound clip, go to video, Mask, Add Mask and choose Split. Rotate the mask to around minus 80 degrees. Slide it to the beginning of the text and click keyframe on position. Now move your playhead forward like 80 frames. And slide the mask to the other side of the text. Now just smoothen animation with right click on the last keyframe. Show all presets. Choose Quad is and here is your sweet text animation. Tip number 13, thumbnail creation and export. CapCut makes thumbnails super simple. So if we want to make thumbnail from this image here, we can go back a little and import your picture. I will flip myself around and drag it to the right side. Highlight both text 
move it slightly up and left like this and in seconds we have our own thumbnail. To export it you just have to go up to these three dots here, export still frames, rename it and hit export. Hope you enjoyed these tips and if you did don't forget to hit like, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.